Capricorns, singles, welcome. This is your singles reading. Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for the end of January time frame, 2022. And we're using four cards here for you guys. Uh, I think I'm going to pull a three-card clarification on the outcome. That's six of swords. Uh, but the overall energy is the eight of pentacles. Now, I got the feeling if this is your reading, Capricorn, you've been dutifully working with this Eight of Pentacles, which is a great card, good worker card. So you've been really working on something, a relationship, um, or you had been in the past. Um, this could speak to someone that's legally separated, by the way, comes to mind. Uh, if not, you know, energetically, like, separated, uh, and... It might have been difficult because Eight of Pentacles is a lot of work. Could be eight years, you know. Could be hanging in there maybe with someone for like eight years and, you know, uh, really doing everything right. And, and But with the hanged man, um, you're having to step back from this relationship. Like usually the hanged man's a choice, like a spiritual choice, ideally. So you may have made the choice in this case. Uh, maybe you, if you're like me, uh, I feel like in the past, like I made the choice to leave, but I didn't, I like the other person made the choice to leave metaphysically <laughs> years earlier, and I just finally couldn't stay anymore and, and actually was the one to walk away. Kind of like that, um, you know. Uh, and also with the hangman, um, it, you're, uh, you're in some kind of energy where it's really hard to let go of that. You want to make sure... Uh, you might feel like you're kind of in a state of suspension. So if you're single, it doesn't impress me as someone that'd be out on a dating site, you know. Um, uh, it's someone kind of recently single. And then crossing you, this is the Six of Cups. And I think, like, if you weren't clear before, I think, to me, what the problem was, uh, it, it wasn't an emotionally fulfilling relationship. That was the core of it. It's like you hung in there and there was pinnacles. And, uh, but emotionally, the reason why you're in this energy, you're not engaged and you're ghosting or pulling away this kind of energy with the hanged man, it's going to kind of be that Pisces energy, be isolating too, uh, is emotionally just not feel fulfilled. This can be kind of hard to get a grasp of sometimes if you're not a real emotionally centered person. Um, it just could be a feeling of discontent and, um, you know, but you, you could stop really put your finger on it. It's like this kind of some kind of emotional disconnect. And with the advice of the high priestess, this is your advice from spirit. And I mean, the high priestess is spirit. It's divine feminine uh, manifestation. Uh, it's receptivity, openness to spirit. Uh, I mean, this could be literally praying literally, uh, or asking for guidance. You know, I pray all the time, guide me, protect me, give me strength, spirit, in the name of light, love, so it serves the greatest good. Um, it, this would be, you know, kind of throwing yourself, particularly here in this Guild of Terra Royale, um, into your emotional side, your and your intuitive side, and trusting these emotions, you look how she's kind of like going towards this Six of Cups. It's, I feel like this is Spirit trying to tell you, un, you know, pay attention to your emotions. Uh, drop down into your emotions. Your uh, emotions are okay. I mean, Capricorn is opposite of Cancer. Cancer is an you know, archetype for emotions. Uh, they can be, believe me, I got cancer mood. Uh, it can be pretty, uh, you know, uh, baffling and uh, sometimes kind of swamp you. But in this case, I think that's really, you're really being asked to go into your emotions, honor, honor how your feelings, just honor your feelings, you know. I don't know, I'm so feeling oriented. I'm like at the point, it's like I don't even really need to think about it anymore. If I'm in a room and, and I just don't feel good, I just leave. I don't need to sit around anymore and think about it. I don't, I don't feel good. Is that person with yours? And now I'm just like, you know what? I don't feel good. And I don't like to go around not feeling good, you know, unless I have to. <laughs> right? So kind of like that. This is like uh, it, it, if, if it didn't feel right to you, then it's not right. And you're getting 100% backup into the six of one, six of swords. You know, this is escape. You know, um, 
it could be with the six of swords uh, and they're coming out of the high priestess here that could be kind of clandestine hidden kind of motives uh, the hanged man i mean you could be in a position where it's not so easy to get out of a relationship you know or you're out of a relationship but you're still partially dependent there's so many things now with the health insurance and you know uh and god knows i'm a visa and scorpio i mean to some people it's like oh well it's just a matter of practicality we've got to have health insurance it's like but then you're maybe tied to someone that broke your heart you know or something uh, but there's something kind of holding you here um definitely emotional maybe maybe by kind of embracing your emotions it'll help you like uh maybe part of the problem embracing emotions maybe then you've got to really uh, experience the grief over this apparently lost relationship here capricorns well let me see what i get here we're going to clarify your escape really what i'm going to call it because i don't see a reason why not to okay that's kind of what I was wondering. Um, it, it looks to me, I wonder if you have a fire Mars, like you might be Sagittarius or Sagittarius Venus or Mars would be uh, what I'm thinking. But um, so with this energy right here, um, I think this is going to be a person you're moving towards here. So Aries really strongly comes to mind, but could be Sag or Leo too. Um, but you're going to know because this is someone that's good looking, uh, probably charming, uh, male or female, just charismatic, vivacious, sexy. You know, they have a sex appeal, they have a dynamism about them, okay? Um, and this is speaking to you not losing yourself, okay, as this goes down because you're going to be moving out of this energy. This, you know, swords are, this six of swords, swords are thoughts. So all of what I'm saying, you know, maybe you're not like physically living with someone. Maybe you're not even dependent upon them. But I think mentally there's something where you're still hanging on with the hangman. This is your energy. In and around love relationships. Can't take that away. Um, so there could be a feeling when I see the four of pinnacles here where you're at now, it's a feeling like I don't have a lot to give. You know, it's like every your arms are around all your pinnacles. Uh, you're not in a position really to hug anyone or to save anyone or to even shake hands, okay? Or to create anything, you know, or to go uh, swimming. You know, you're you're just kind of uh, holding tight <clears throat> is a phrase we used to use in our business. Um, and I think a lot of reason for this is you don't want to lose yourself. And when you're around this kind of charisma, that can happen. But in the future here, what you're going to have, this is a phallus. This is a conflagration. There's a fire sign coming here. And I'm not going to say it's a bad thing. Um, I think um, they're going to approach you. You're going to kind of be in this four pinnacles energy where you can literally, this can literally be saying, look, uh, I'm just kind of still getting over something, you know, I don't know if I'm ready and all like this, but it's going to come anyway, guys. I think like ready or not, here it comes. It's Ace of Wands. I mean, there's a passionate uh, romance coming, uh, guys. And I don't think this is going to be very far off. I mean, you're just on top of this. This is uh, in the January read, so... Pick it as you may. Let me know, Capricorn. Please do give me a like if you like this at all. And uh, please do subscribe if you haven't. Need the help. Do comment. Love it. Thank you, guys.